All right, this is our Daily Bread devotional for today, Sunday, January 5th, 2020. And the scripture comes from Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16, New King James. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a, sh- a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. At the time Jesus spoke these words, most homes used small oil lamps for lighting, which were most effectively placed on a lamp stand. Covering a small, a small lamp under a bowl would extinguish it. It describes his disciples In describing his disciples as the light of the world, Jesus emphasized that it's impossible to genuinely be a disciple of his kingdom without living according to the kingdom values described in Matthew 5. To live in opposition to these values is as useless and illogical as being tasteless, ineffective salt or invisible light. Shining the Light is the title for today's devotional by Dave Brennan. Stephen told his parents that he needed to get to school early every day, but for some reason he never explained why it was so important, yet they made sure he arrived at Northview High School by 7.15 every morning. On a wintry day during his junior year, Stephen was in a car accident that sadly took his life. Later, his mom and dad found out why he'd been going to school so early. Each morning, he and some friends had gathered at the school entrance to greet other students with a smile, a wave, and a kind word. It made, all, it made all students, even those who weren't popular, feel welcomed and accepted. A believer in Jesus, Stephen wanted to share his joy with those who desperately needed it. His, his example lives on as a reminder that one of the best ways to shine the light of Christ's love is by gestures of kindness and through a welcoming spirit. In Matthew 5, 14 through 16, Jesus reveals that in him we are the light of the world in a small town on a hill. Ancient cities were often built of white limestone, truly standing out as they reflected the blazing sun. May we choose not to be hidden, but to give light to everyone in the house. And as we let our light shine before others, may they experience the welcoming love of Christ. What's one way you could be more welcoming to the lonely and needy around you? How can the Holy Spirit help you to be a city on a hill for others to see? Heavenly Father, thank you for Stephen's example. Like him... Help me to show kindness and and a welcoming spirit to everyone I meet. So, and as always, there's the links there if you want to check that out. A lot of resources on the the Daily Bread Radio Bible Class website. A lot of good stuff. So, click the like if you like. And um, leave a comment or question or prayer request. Love to hear from you guys. All right. You have a great day. Take care. God bless.